Things that were banned from school in different countries. Starting off with number one, the Bible. It was banned in North Korea in 2014. A Christian woman was executed for distributing the Bible. Executed? North Korea. In Iran, yoga pants. Okay. Iran has implemented an Islamic dress code at several universities. Hoodies? In Australia? We don't need to, you don't need to wear a hoodie in Australia anyway. Australia is always hot, right? Or am I wrong? I think. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But hoodies? Wait, why? They can be quite intimidating and make students hard to identify. Hard to identify? I mean, maybe if they have the hood up, just say no hoods. In France, red ink. In an effort to reduce stress and create a more positive learning environment. Does red, the color red, just make people stressed out? Maybe that's why I'm so stressed out. I'm always looking at this red keyboard. Oh my goodness. Norway, expensive shoes. This is due to an effort to stop poverty shaming. Okay. Italy, packed lunch. You can't bring food? They're not allowed. Even if they don't like the food dished up in school. Oh, canteens. Okay, so they're not allowed to bring food, but they could eat at the school canteen. I mean, I don't I don't really get why. Why can't you just bring your own food? Like what happens if you don't want to spend money on the canteen? Just they're forcing you to spend money now. In South Korea, rubber bands, teachers will stand at the doorway to check your uniform. What's so bad about a rubber band? What are you gonna do? You can make like a rubber band pencil shooting thing or, or what? Actually, I could see that. I could see that. Because people in my class, oh, it's actually funny now that I'm thinking about it, would make rubber band, like a, it was rubber bands, right? Like a rubber band gun. And they'd put the hardest piece of paper, like fold up a paper 50 million times and shoot that. And it would hurt. I remember one lunch, it was, it was like a punishment. I don't know, we did like some challenge and the loser got shot and I got, I had to get sh get shot by this rubber band thing but with the paper and it left a massive welt in my back oh those are good times so i i can see that i can see, you know i'm actually gonna take a picture and send this to my group chat because that's funny oh it's bringing back memories uae mustaches it's an islamic practice to cut the mustache mustaches short and leave the beard oh i was gonna say wait i was there and i swear i saw some people with mustaches but it, it's in school so i can understand that because like if tourists and stuff i i feel like are okay but like if you go to school then that's when they're more strict I see, I see. Canada. Energy what? Energy drinks? Wait. I was I was gonna say, wait. When I was in high school, people were bringing energy drinks to, to class. But like maybe like the teachers didn't really care. Like they were actually banned, but like the teachers just like, yeah, whatever. Energy drinks is due to health concerns and their potential impact on student behavior. I can't remember now. Were they banned or not? Because I live in Canada, if you guys don't know. Saudi Arabia. Dice? Most forms of gambling in schools are illegal. That makes sense. But a dice? What if they're just playing a board game? Tattoos in Turkey. Because the government is imposing religious and traditional practices and laws. Wait, wait, wait. Justin Bieber fans? In China? He was banned from performing in the country due to bad behavior. What? Okay. Valentine's Day is banned in Pakistan. The court banned any promotion of Valentine's Day in public spaces. What? They just don't want you to like show appreciation for your loved one? I don't know. Belgium. Hand clapping. It was banned to minimize noise and maintain a quiet learning environment. So if one person goes like this, they kicked out or what? New Zealand ties are banned because of safety concern as they were seen as potential strangulation hazards. Okay, I could see that. But at the same time, there's a whole bunch of other things that are hazardous too, like a pair of pants. You do the same thing. You know, Turkey, Rubik's Cube. They were banned in some schools as they were seen as a distraction. I could see that, I guess, as a distraction. You're doing your Rubik's Cube while the teacher's teaching. But at the same time, Rubik's Cube is using a lot of brain power. But the teacher will be mad because you're not learning what they're wanting you to learn. South Africa, dyed hair. They banned hair dye to promote a more conservative appearance. Interesting. Microsoft Office was burned in Germany? Microsoft. I'm just thinking, what did my school use? Teams. That's Microsoft, right? They banned it due to privacy concerns around the use of US cloud providers. Hmm. Because Teams, the reason my school used Teams is because of the, like, that's the one they had to use due to, due to safety or, like, privacy thingies. Like, they couldn't use Zoom and stuff like that. I don't know. Mobile phones are banned in Sweden. They have strict regulations against mobile phones to minimize distractions. You know, that's probably better. I mean, I would hate that. You guys would hate that. You can't bring your phone to school. But at the same time, the phones are, like, the ma are massive distraction. Like, I know when, like, everybody, everybody that had a phone was distracted in school. Like, you know? Denmark crayon drawings on skin. Why would you draw on your skin anyway with crayons? I could see markers, but crayons? They're bad to prevent messiness and maintain a clean appearance. Junk food in Mexico? Due to an effort to combat one of the worst obesity problems in the world. What's What's classified as junk food though? Japan, you cannot shave your legs to at school. Well, at school, I understand, but I mean, no, sorry. You can't shave your legs and go to school? Kids in Japan are told to focus only on their ed education. That's what? That same logic would mean then you can't cut your hair. Can't get a haircut. Like, what, what does that have to do with, with learning? Like, what's the difference to say you can't eat at home? Like, that might be distracting. What, you can't shave your legs? What? Hair extensions in Nigeria. Some universities in Nigeria have a very strict dress code. I don't understand. Like, it's not like, I don't know, it's just hair. Like, what's the difference in, like, growing your hair out than putting in extensions? I don't know. Thailand. Hand gestures. Certain hand gestures have been banned to promote respectful communication. 
Netherlands, you, what? You can't wear a bicycle helmet? Wearing bicycle helmets indoors is banned to prevent damage to school property. Damage to school property? What, you're just gonna go around bashing your head into the wall and stuff? I mean, why would you wear a helmet inside anyway? Halloween is an no-go in Russia. It's banned in some Russian schools because it breeds extremism? Huh? Brazil, hula hoops. What? I don't, why would you bring a hula hoop to school anyway? I've never seen a hula hoop. I've never even thought of like the thought of, actually no, my gym, the gym had hula hoops. They banned hula hoops because they might stimulate passion. <laughs> what does that even mean? Cancel cases in Finland? This one was done in order to stop pupils from poor families being stigmatized. Okay. Ireland. Running. I don't think you're supposed to run in any school. Like, if, you, if you're running and a teacher sees you, they'll be like, hey, stop running, right? So technically that's banned everywhere, right? I mean, maybe there's some countries. I don't know. Every school I've gone to, they'll like, let, tell you not to run because they are so fearful of accidents happening. Well, that's the kid's fault. If the kid falls while they're running, like, that's on them. <laughs> in Ukraine, a Russian school's buses. Huh? They banned purchasing school buses from Russia. Oh, I was a little confused on that one for a second. Indonesia, you cannot wear a hijab. Some places where here require a Muslim woman to wear a hijab in public. Interesting. In Ghana, hair gel? Their dress code is designed to maintain a smart appearance. What do you think using hair gel would make your appearance more smart? Like what happens if you have hair like me? I didn't really do my hair that great, but if I go in the shower and I scrub all the hair gel out with shampoo, my hair will literally be flatter than a pan. Fl flatter than a pancake, as a matter of fact. And in order to make my hair look smart, as they said, smart appearance, I need hair gel. Kenya, you cannot wear a hat. You can't wear hats to school here any either. I Although actually they kind of stopped, they stopped caring about that. When I was in like like what grade 11 12 they stopped caring if you wear hats in school but every grade up till then it was like no hats no hats no hats hey take your hat off as soon as you walk in this school certain styles of hats have faced restrictions to maintain uniformity and discipline pokemon cards in the usa that was banned from elementary school my elementary school too i feel like uh, um middle school too high school i don't know but it's due to disputes that break out due to stolen cards and disagreements because mm -hmm. they'd be trading they'd be trading you know and then they get ah he took my my good card. And yeah. Malta, colored shoelaces. Colored shoelaces are restricted to maintain a more uniform appearance. Makes sense. Egypt, photography. The government banned photography in schools to cover up education crisis. What? Okay. Portugal, smoking near school. In 2019, Lisbon said 13,500 5, 13, deaths that year were linked to tobacco use. Well, I think we all know that smoking is bad for you. In my high school, they had like a little designated smoking area outside to like near the back of the school. Smartwatch in Qatar. Smartwatch are commonly used in schools to cheat on exams. You know, I could see that. You could hide a whole bunch of like little notes in here and everything. Hijab in Austria. A law prevents Muslim girls from wearing a headscarf in primary schools. England, your own toilet paper. My dad wouldn't like this one. He brings his own toilet paper everywhere. Cause you guys know, you know, I hate it too. I just, I'm not as, well, I am picky, but I don't, I don't go to the extreme lengths as my dad and bring toilet paper. Like when we go camping and stuff, like if we're going to use a public bathroom, he'll bring his own toilet paper. And actually, thankfully he did. Cause I used it when he brought it. But you know, like in order for it not to rip, you got to use like a whole, the whole roll almost. Those things are so thin, but you know, we got that good cashmere extra ultra soft because of fear of spreading germs and bacteria in the classroom. I mean, I guess I see that, you know, like you're getting your hands all dirty in the bathroom by touching the toilet paper and the toilet paper comes with you and then you touch everything else. In Morocco, long hair for boys. This was in response to the growing popularity of a, the hippie scub subculture. What's wrong with being a hippie? Fidget spinners in Lebanon. I feel like when those things were like really popular back in the day, they were getting banned everywhere, weren't they? Many schools banned them after they went flying across the room harming students. Why would they go flying across the room? And that's actually making me want to buy a fidget spinner. Fidget spinner. Yeah. I might actually just buy one right now. I remember back in the day, I had I had a basic one. Just like a, like one like that. A basic plastic one. But there are some kids who have like a, the sick like. There'd be like square edges and like, oh, uh, they'd be like metal and whoosh, they spin for hours. Stuffed animals in Kazakhstan. Stuffed animals have been banned to maintain a focused learning environment. Let me think. I feel like when I was like in kindergarten, I brought a stuffed animal. Maybe not kindergarten, but like like the ones before that. I don't know if you guys went to those. It was like called Tinkerbell. I think Tinkerbell. Yeah, it was like Tinkerbell. It's like before, the year before kindergarten. Estonia, bubble gum. I'm pretty sure gum is banned from lots of schools because it's oh, it's so nasty. You just, you get a new, you get assigned to a new seat in class. You just, for some reason, put your hands underneath and you feel gum is just nasty. Chewing gum is typically banned in schools because children stick, exactly, stick it everywhere. In Albania, ripped jeans. As well as a distraction, there were safety concerns about these types of jeans. Safety concerns? Safety concern? What would be the safety concern? I don't know. India, pencil sharpeners. How are you going to sharpen your pencil then? They were to prevent noise and maintain a quiet classroom atmosphere. That's why you got to lock and load them. You got to sharpen 
them up at home? Make sure they don't break at school or what? Vat Vatican. Vatisan? Scented markers. They did it in order to maintain a neutral classroom environment. What's up with them in maintaining the environment of the classroom? There's, I don't know, lots of weird rules. Not, not this country, but like, well, that country too, but like some of the other countries. In Bosnia, wearing sunglasses, they are seen as a fashion accessory incompatible with school uniforms. Why would you want to wear sunglasses in school anyway? Wouldn't you want to be hard to see? Ba Bahrain, lighters. Many schools prohibit lighter because they could be used to cause physical harm. I feel like that's in most places too, though. Like, I feel like if you brought it to the class and you're going, ch -ch 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 -ch, the teacher would say, hey, put that away, you know? In Poland, you can't complain. Students complained about too much homework, so they did this. What? What happens if you complain, though? You get, you get kicked out of school or what? Because, like, I feel like that's a thing everywhere. Like, if I complained to the teacher about homework, they'd say, tough luck, go home and do it, you know? But anyway, that's going to be for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.